being a knight in shining armour. Why bother? I saw a woman being assaulted by Perth Crown Casino security guards. She had videoed the security guards breaking the law. The guard hit her in order to destroy her camera. I came to her aid. As a result, about 10 casino security guards retaliated and assaulted me for helping her. For my trouble, my teeth were broken, I was physically battered, kicked and received a head injury requiring stitches in hospital. Why bother? I was subjected to this unnecessary violent attack because I came to the assistance of a woman being assaulted by security guards. Despite the clear CCTV evidence shown here, many available witnesses and a magistrate's ruling that these guards had unlawfully assaulted me, police are refusing to prosecute the security guards. By refusing to prosecute, police and politicians are in effect condoning the actions of the security guards. This sends a powerful message to the community. Don't help. Turn a blind eye. The police will not support you. I, for one, do not want to live in a community where people are afraid to help their fellow citizens in distress. Here is my head injury, and here's how I got it. The Western Australian Premier, Mr Colin Barnett, claims it is not in the public interest to prosecute the security guards. The Western Australian Minister for Police and Women's Interest, Ms Lisa Harvey, says what you just saw is not compelling evidence. What has to happen before the Minister is compelled into action? If you believe this is compelling evidence, and it is in the public interest to prosecute the security guards, please email the Premier or the Minister for Police and tell them we all deserve the protection of the law. We do not want selective justice and not to prosecute these security guards is a breach of public trust.